what advice would you give to somebody in terms of confidence who is struggling from that side so how much can they like fake it till they make it or when they should be like really be open and vulnerable how would you draw that balance so i think it's really important to practice this so i think a lot of people haven't had any stage experience or most people have not so if you are the ceo or the person who's going to be responsible for pitching to investors or for presenting your custom your company to customers do go to pitch days and demo days and apply to these competitions at conferences so that you can go out there and practice do practice in front of the mirror do practice by recording your voice into your phone because then you can listen back and you can think am i speaking too fast or too slowly or am i loud enough am i articulating my words so that kind of first of all you can you can practice on yourself if you're very shy and then maybe you can practice in front of a family member or a roommate to get some other feedback so it really is about practice make perfect and specifically when it comes to pitching i think it never sounds good if you rehearse everything word for word because then it sounds very wooden you can end up sounding like a robot that's reading from an ad script it's better to just know your value proposition inside out and perhaps have a few bullet points that you're going to follow but really tell the story everything in communications and marketing these days is about storytelling and you want to get the audience to put themselves in your shoes or in the potential customer's yeah. shoes so it's really practicing the storytelling element as well and i do think using the creative arts can be a great way to access that so even just for fun try doing a theater class or try doing some acting or singing or dancing class that will just help you get a bit more loose in your body and you'll find there are so many transferable skills that you can bring from that into your presentations and of course if you want to go even further there are plenty of fantastic coaches that can train you in public speaking and in pitching and communication skills if you have the budget for that thank you thank you for sharing that i what i love is that i asked you about confidence <clears throat> and you started with practice and a lot of people see confidence as either something i have or do not have but it's good to introduce the notion of practice because then there is something which i can do about it 